All right, here we are, some 30 episodes after we started this. Um, and if you drift back to episode one, you saw us during the summer with all hands on deck, trying to make some changes that really drifts back to last winter. It shows how, how long the cycle goes when it comes to managing our farms and trying to, to make them the best that they can be. Find a better spot, make your spot better. Well, this particular bottom farm is 143 acres. We did a complete revamp. We did a big cut. Um, we planted more food. We killed a turkey there last spring. And it, we just felt really confident about it this particular fall. We had some great sits on it throughout the fall. And then finally, during the late season, it all comes full circle. So drift back and watch show one if you wanna see exactly how we dolled this farm up. You'll hear us talk about it in this episode, but you finally get to see the exclamation point put on all the work. You know, we had a La Nina fall. A lot of warm weather, a lot of drought, and it made cold fronts very scarce. I think so many times I look at the 14 day on deer casts and it was, warm temps above average and then you'd hit a cold front and one thing was for sure the deer were going to move when the cold fronts did hit and just about christmas there was a major cold front that came through the best one of the year and in really probably the coldest air i can remember in the last decade or so and i was talking away and i said you know what if there's a if there's a situation where that bottom's gonna pay off. Looking back at last year's pictures, it got really good during the latter part of the year. And we had some giants showing up on that cornfield last year. This year we did all the improvements. I said, with this cold front, man, this might be the scenario we need. Sure enough, we get pictures the night before of this giant standing out in our cut cornfield. And uh, one thing's for sure, Wade's going in, he's moving a blind. He's ready, he's gonna take the mission crossbow. Hopefully that deer shows back up. The weather's there, the food's there. It's the recipe we were waiting on. as quick as possible because the lens keeps fogging up but just got in the blind I came in I'm self filming I got the mission crossbow in hand it's the day before Christmas Eve and uh, we had a really big deer coming out to this field last night harsh harsh weather and the negatives it was wind chill of negative 50 yesterday today it's negative in the wind chills of negative 30 real temperature uh, below zero by a couple degrees so uh, hopefully it gets them on their feet tonight and uh, gets them out to this field. I'm excited. Um, dealing fits with the windows fogging and then freezing um, with the high wind speeds. It's just not uh, cooperating. So I'm going to do the best I can tonight and uh, hopefully it all comes together. But just nasty, nasty weather and DeerCast is saying good. Hopefully tonight it's good.
wants our boy. You can see the little scar on his back. lined up and uh, moved it into place, got it in the air. Thank you, Lord, for Keen Outdoors and these blinds making them mobile to get it right up here to the edge of this corn where we could see them. And uh, they fed in the beans forever, finally came out to this cornfield, and the rest is history. It took a long time for him to work within bow range, and I wasn't going to stretch it, and he stood there and took it, and it went right through his side. Awesome. that we put into this farm finally paid off. We got big TSI over here, right along the river. We came in here, we added big food, and it paid off late season here in the, in the sub-zero temperatures in northern Missouri. Awesome. Part of his lung, look at that. Thank you, Rage. Unbelievable. That is a happy sight right there. I'll get my tag notch here on the Missouri app. Well, what a hunt it was here on December 23rd uh, in northern Missouri. Blustery cold temperatures, deer cast was saying good. And uh, we came in here to this 143 acre farm that we dolled up the last couple years. We came in here, we did log the whole farm. We had big TSI done along the river here. And uh, we, we came in, put more food, and uh, we got beans on this end, corn on the south, and uh, it absolutely worked to perfection here this late season. 
I couldn't be more happy and more thankful. Mark's up in Iowa with Austin. Perry's back home for Christmas. I'm heading home tomorrow. And uh, like I said, just an awesome ending to this farm uh, that we put in so much blood, sweat, and tears with the TSI, the logging, and the bigger food plots. And uh, it's, it's really fun when everything comes full circle that you work so hard for. Awesome, awesome ending to my Missouri deer season. So hopefully you had a chance to go back and look at show one to see exactly what we did on this particular farm. We did a lot of different things and it was great to see that particular story come full circle. We had the weather, we had the spot, and uh, I know one thing, it's probably not going to be the last deer that we harvest down in that beautiful bottom. So congratulations, Wade. Way to get it done. Way to get it done through brutally cold temperatures by yourself, self-filming. Awesome job. My hat's off, sir. We're adding new videos every week, so make sure to click that subscribe button and check out all of our amazing content. This episode of DOD TV was brought to you by MOTV. For full episodes of 13 and all of our outdoor channel content, head over to the MOTV app and view it today.